Manam, manam. Manam, manam. Manam, manam. Manam, manam. Manam, manam. Manam, manam. Typically, you do the don't don don intro by yourself. Are we filming? You need to disappear. Oh, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Not like that. I have to go find you. Know, our first segment's Don't Day Don. No, our first segment's the intro. How are we gonna this film the intro? This is the intro. Hello, everybody. Are you doing the intro by yourself? I mean, you're here, but <laughs> Don't Day Don is the first segment. Oh, so you're doing the intro by. Okay. So, bye, Conkers. I'll come find you whenever you're done hiding. Christina, where are we going? So, deciding to keep it close to home today, we have three options. Library, math wing, or English wing. And I've decided we'll stay right in here and see if you can find me. So, you want to come with me? I have some helpers to take. Some partners in crime, if you will. Okay, what's up, everybody? Um, they told me to wait in the gym while Conker's hides. Uh, which means she's either in the English wing, um, which was one of the locations, uh, and the two other locations were, I believe, the math wing and the library. So we're gonna go search there and hopefully we can find her. Conkers. Uh, Conkers, that was probably the worst hiding spot you've had. You know, you had a hint! Ever. My feet are numb. I am back. Yeah. Whatever the case. Next segment is intro to our military kids. We asked a lot of children of military parents some questions that are really thought provoking. Yeah, because uh, last week was military kid week. Uh, so we just wanted to get a bigger breakdown of what that looked like. So here's some interviews for you guys. Who in your family is in the military? Uh, my dad. So what are you most proud of? Uh, my dad because he saved a lot of people. So who in your family is in the military? My dad is. What branch is he in? The army. What are you most proud of? Of him. That he's protecting our country. Awesome. Thank you. So who in your family is part of the military? My dad is retired military. <laughs> what branch did he serve? He served in the army. Yeah. What are you most proud of him for? Um, his perseverance, especially because he was an air traffic controller, which is a very stressful job. And he was in a lot of, like, management positions and stuff, so still making, like, time for us, but also, like, really doing the best that he can do at his job is really, like, something I aspire to do also. So. Um, the last question is, what would you like other people to know being a military child? Um... I think for other children, I think, especially like if you're like civilian family versus like a military family, just having that like, not respect, but just empathy for those families and especially the children, especially because it can be really hard for them. Yeah. So hopefully you guys all learned something new in those clips or maybe you already knew that stuff because you're a military child yourself. 
Yeah. So. Um, it was great information. You know, we got a better understanding of what it's like to be a military kid. Um, and on and to our next segment. On, uh, we have our musical recap, which was amazing. Yes, uh, it was so, 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 so good. They, you guys should be so proud of yourself. Everybody did an amazing job. Everybody fit their roles. It was great. So mm-hmm. much fun to watch those two two shows. Uh, so I think we have some pictures because I don't know if we're allowed to show video due to copyright. Mm-hmm. But if we are... I'm sure we can spotlight some. Uh, we might have some of that, but... Here are some uh, pictures and recaps from the musical. That you guys did so well. Um, so the musical again was amazing. Uh, I had a great amazing. time both nights. Um, mm-hmm. You so did great, fine. you know. Olivia as Alice was great. Uh, Desiree and Ben both as Cheshire, Cheshire Cat, Cat were amazing. Were great. Uh, one of my favorites was the Tweedledee and Tweedledum by uh, both Katie and Jasmine and my sister and Bella. Uh, There's great parts. I'm so Everybody fine. played amazing. You guys roles. put so much work into it. So that. much work into it. Um, and and it Kale awesome. did Kale great did too. Amazing. I did not know. That he had such a big role and he killed it. He did. They Very all killed it. They all kid. did. Uh, Annika, Eric, all of them. They, they so did great. Uh, and so even our chorus. Okay, whatever the case, we should move on. We have our senior spotlight segment. I know this week we have the double H. The Haley. double H. <laughs> Hayden. Haley yeah. and Hayden, the double H, if you will. Whatever the case, we'll pop into those clips. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Pretty good. That's good. So what are your future plans? Um, after high school, I'm going to go to University at Albany. What are you majoring? Childhood education. Same. <laughs> Molding the minds. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Teaching. <laughs> um, what is your favorite high school memory? Um, in sophomore year, going through the trash with Molly Miller and Mrs. DeVito. I was trying to find a ring that was not in the trash. So, like, not that fun. I mean, it was a it memory. Was an experience. It was a memory. It was a memory. Yeah. What is your favorite sports memory? Um, there's a lot. I mean, for soccer this year, uh, probably the many times that it poured, but we kept playing. It's all mental, ladies. It's all, it's all mental. Power through. Yeah. yeah. Um, who is someone that's impacted you? Um, probably my mom a lot. Um, she was she always gives good advice. I love Kim. She's impacted me too. Yeah. Kim. Very impactful. And uh, Mrs. Timmerman. She's just she's the sweetest. She's she really sweet. is. Yeah. Shout out, Mrs. Timmerman. Ooh. Um, and lastly. What are you looking forward to for the rest of the year? Um, I'm looking forward to the senior trips. Uh-huh. Not the senior trip anymore, yeah. the senior trips. Because those will be fun. Yeah. And prom. Yeah. Yeah. Graduation. And graduation. Definitely graduation. Save the best for last. Obvious. Yeah. I love senior. Surprise, we're not done yet. <laughs> So what's some advice you have for the younger classmen? Um, don't really worry too much about what other people have to say because it doesn't really matter once you're out of school. That's true. Yeah. It just, you overthink, like yeah. if you overthink it too much, it just, it doesn't matter at all. Probably some of the best advice we've ever had on here. Yeah. There we go. So here we are with our 12th senior, Hayden. How's it going today? Good. Good. So what are your future plans? Uh, I'm going to go to JCC to... Be a firefighter, or for fire science. That's cool. Um, what's some advice you have? Uh, listen to your teachers, because they're ultimately there to help you. That's true. Yeah. Do you follow your own advice? Yeah. Um, what's your favorite memory? Um, like you're everywhere. <clears throat> oh, funny memories. Tyler put milk in my locker, and it 
left it there and I didn't find it for a little while. It smelled pretty bad. <laughs> it's not funny, Christina. I don't know why people are laughing at this. So who is someone that's impacted you? Uh, my mom and dad. Why? They just always support me, whatever I want to do. It's helpful. Yeah. When your parents support you like that. Yeah. I see that. Um... <laughs> what are you most looking forward to? Um, for the rest of the year. Graduating. Solid. Yeah. There we go. 12th senior. No laughing, it's serious. No laughing, serious. What do you define as a flood, Christina? What's, what's a, a state to, what, do, what do you define as a flood? What I define as a flood? There are multiple things you can define as a flood, Christina. There's the two-inch water level flood in your basement, or a hundred-foot tsunami, which we will never get. If there's a hundred-foot tsunami, we're dead anyways, Tyler. We're at a hundred feet above sea level right now, Christina. Do you think we're gonna get a tsunami? You hear... We're in the middle of nowhere. Who said we're gonna get a tsunami? We're in the middle of nowhere. We are by a lake. Yeah, we are by a lake, Tyler. And what's the lake gonna do? <laughs> what is the What is the lake gonna no, do? No, if it starts to rain really hard, the lake is gonna tsunami. If it starts to rain really hard, and people are in the basement. All right. So those were some hilarious yeah. April Fools. I feel like after the fact, like yeah, it, it, it kind of happened yeah, already. Yeah, kind of. You know, that was probably, you know, in my opinion, I knew oh, it was no. April Fools instantly. It wasn't okay. the best setup, well. but you know, if they had more time, I bet it would have been, you know, better. But yeah, I've seen like other schools did it. Like I was watching TikToks, and like I kept seeing TikToks of schools who did it to their students. The same one. So yeah, whatever the case, still not funny. Whatever the case, the end of this week's segment. Really? Yeah, and we have Tyler's eats. We always have Tyler's eats after. And I hope you guys have a great spring break. It's a half day today. Thank goodness. Yeah. Because I am dying. Yeah, it's been a long week. It has been a long week. So we hope you enjoyed the episode. Yeah. Let's... Yeah. <laughs> Have a great week, guys. Peace out. Hello, everyone. So Tyler's gone, which means Christina gets to take over. So today, for our... Christina's Eats, Donder's Eats. You guys let me know what sounds good. And I have my animal crackers, which in my opinion are the pinnacle of all things snacky. I love my animal crackers. So let's take a place. <laughs> they taste like they always do. Delicious. So yeah, go to Sam's Club. You can get the big bags. So yeah, delicious, 10 out of 10. Peace out, sockets.